All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today, I want to do something different. So, we're going to go over a Master Duel meta game report of Season 1. Basically, um, after every season, I just want to, you know, see all the collected data and see what decks are at the top, you know, what decks are overused, and, you know, what we could be expecting for Season 2. Now, um, I did get, collect this information from Road of the King, so go check them out. Their website will be linked in my description. But without further ado, let's get started. So with the first um, list that they have, we have a breakdown of the meta game from the 19th to the 31st of January. Uh, it looks like they had, um, you know, they just went through all the numbers and statistics. And here we have, you know, a nice little pie to pre present what's going on with, you know, deaths in the meta game. So right here coming in at 28% of the whole pie, we have Tri Brigade variant. It could be anywhere from Zoo uh regular just all tri brigade or you know mixing in with the lyrics uh it really depends on how you want to play the deck so there's many ways how you could play this deck and it's amazing um with this deck we're gonna explain every deck afterwards here's just a little overview so you guys can see what's going on next up at 16.7 we have um, a representation of Virtual World. Um, next up, 10% we have Eldridge. Uh, it's pure Zodiac. Zodiac we have at 8.3%. Next we have Adamantiers at 6.7. Rytron at 6.7 as well. Prank Kids at 3.3. They were really popular. And then we have 20% uh, you know, just at uh, other. Like decks that these are not like decks that are not this. That's where we fall. The pendulum guy. <laughs> so this is where we fall um, in this category. But we could still hit pat platinum one. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't have to be all that. You know, not noticeable, noticeable. You know, mentions are like chaos dragon, cyber dragon, uh, danger dark world, dinosaur, uh, dogmata, and vault. Junk Doppel, Phantom Knight, Sky Strikers, uh, True Draco, Utopia, and Ze uh, Zephra. Those are the noticeable decks that um, also are just a little bit higher than the than the twenty percent of other. Uh, but yeah, let's um talk more about the Tri Brigades. So here I have a deck profile again provided from the same source so this deck is super consistent this is what makes this deck you know top tier with the zodiac engine it's just insane like there's so many tournaments where this deck is just always winning all you know people are always uh making their crazy crazy fields um yeah no Without a doubt, I honestly think for a best of one format, this deck is amazing. Now people are starting to run, you know, like Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, Lightning Storm, and you know, it's better. It's better than running Twin Twisters because the simple fact, Lightning Storm, you can choose to destroy monsters or you know, back row, and you know, Eldritch is running around. So back rows aren't, you know, more of a thing right now. That's why you play Harpy Feather Duster as well. Not only that, this deck has a uh, three Forbidden do Droplet. Droplet is very well to like destroy like perfect fields, like to deal with Herald of Ultimate, you know, Herald of Perfection, you know, Utopic, Utopic Draco Future, Appalooza. You guys know Appalooza, um, you know. Stuff like that, anything that covers with negates or anything, Droplet, you know, is your best friend to deal with all of that. Um, but you know, this is um, you know, one of the reasons why I think this deck is amazing. Um, next up, 
I do want to pull up the what do you call it virtual world deck virtual worlds are amazing people are sleeping on this uh, I would consider this you know the second best deck you know around because like you know they can play cards like cross out De designator you know with that with that card you know you can target like a lot of the common you know cards that are people are playing in their deck you know like ashes Max Seas, you know, Call by the Grave, you know, things of that nature, Nibiru and all the hand traps. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and lie at how I know how to play the virtual deck, but like the fact that they have access to True King, True King, and they have access to a synchro monster that's, um, you know, a macro cosmo just walking around, it's insane. It's insane. True Draco is definitely banned in the TCG. And it's banned for a reason. You can't, you know, it negates all your monster effects and you can't normal summon. I mean, you can't attack with your monsters. And this thing is a 3000 attack beast and he can control whatever attribute you are. Pretty good, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a, my take, you know? Um, next up, I do want to show you guys is the uh, Eldridge deck. Eldridge is crazy good in a best of one format come on it's a best of one format all you have to do is set all your cards set your floodgates and just summon a you know 2500 beater that you know you get for free and then your traps just recycle each other you know that's the best it could get you can run three skill drains to get everybody's effects and you know newer builds are playing with lava golem which is kind of dangerous for you know the non non uh what do you call it people who are not playing this deck because you could just like oh you make your negate you make cards to get over this nope i'm just gonna sacrifice your monsters instead not deal with it and burn you for a thousand because like you put your opponent in like positions where they have to end their turn and then they get burnt burnt damage from you know uh lava golem so this is kind of scary this deck is definitely a contender imperial order is a thing or you can't activate spells if <laughs> if you activate it come on 700 a turn just to not activate a spell that's just insane in my opinion you know uh let's just go back to the uh tier list i mean not the tier list but the pie over here, um, you know, season one, it's basically, you know, best of one. It's not the best two out of three. And, you know, Zodiac, uh, Zodiac uh, Tri Brigade is definitely one of the best decks out there for uh, best of one with Eldridge and Virtual World. Um, you know, moving into the future with more cards being released. I am very interested uh, to see how, you know, everything changes because we still don't have Sword Souls. We still don't have Baron the Floor. There, there are cards we don't have yet that the TCG and um, TCG and OCG have because this is like its own game and I respect Konami for doing this. It's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and leave any questions in the uh, comments below and we'll see you next time peace out